Hello everyone and welcome back to Direwolf 20's Let's Play. This is episode 12 of Industrial Craft, Build Craft, and Equivalent Exchange. Uh, today I've got a bunch of things I want to show you guys, so let me get started right away. Um, I'm going to be building a new room, extending my house here. Let me clear out some dirt real quick. things out, you gotta love it. That looks good to me. Maybe a little bit more. No sense wasting all this junk. I'm gonna start building a new expansion on my house here. I need to go mining a little bit and get prepared for what I'm gonna show you guys today. Uh, so let me get some things put together and I will be back shortly. Okay, got this room building here. Now I'm gonna go mine while that builds. Alright guys, let's get cracking, shall we? Uh, so I want to make some more glowstone aggregators. Uh, however, there's an issue with glowstone aggregators. Not a bug, but uh, an issue. If I surround this glowstone aggregator with blocks, it's blocking light from three of the sides here, as you can see, and it's only half powered. So I need light at least to be visible on all three sides by this block. It doesn't have to be surrounded by torches, but it needs to be getting light on all three sides. That's why I put um, the torch under here. So like if this were a block, see how it's a little bit low? That's why when I build these guys, I try and make them, you know, look good. Uh, the more light they have, the more efficient they run. At max power, it takes less time to create a glowstone out of uh, cobblestone than, uh, than otherwise. Oh, look what a mess I made. We're going to be relocating this guy right over to here. Now I think I want to put this glowstone aggregator right here. And I'm going to surround it with glowstone itself, which you might say to yourself, eh, it's a little bit of a waste, but it's okay, don't worry. I'll have a glowstone, oh you know what, I need it underneath as well. Got a glowstone aggregator. Let's fill her back up with cobblestone. Awesome. Now I'm going to make a few more. I did get some diamonds, but I think we're going to need a few more diamonds for how many I want to make. So I'm going to use the um, equivalent exchange mod for gold equals a diamond. Boom. Now I'm up to 31. And let's get building on this stuff. Let's see if I can remember the recipe off the top of my head. I don't think I can. Okay, looks like I'm going to need a bit more cobble. See how quickly I filled up my cobblestone inventory by mining down there. I'm going to need some redstone. My diamonds. Okay. Let's say I want to make... For now, I'm going to make eight of them. It's a nice round number. I like to put them down, and there might be a more efficient way. If I were to put one right next to this glowstone aggregator, these two sides would be touching, see? And how we have a little bit less efficiency. Um, so, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it... Boy, I'm making a mess, aren't I? put it up here, so that now, see how now because they're alternated, all the sides can be surrounded with glowstone, so this is just going to keep these guys running at max efficiency. If I were to just put them on a straight line, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, they just wouldn't be running at optimum efficiency, and that's kind of what I'm going for here. So, let me put these guys down all in a row. And 
and I'm actually going to extend this room a little bit because I'd like to have a little bit more across. See how much fun it is building with the Philosopher's Stone? Okay, how's that look? Now we've got a bunch of glowstone aggregators here. That one's running. These guys aren't yet because I need to get some cobble into them, so let's do that real fast. Okay, now all my glowstone aggregators are operating at some pretty high efficiency. Uh, they're all cooking up some glowstone for me, and I'm getting a good amount of glowstone. So what's next, Direwolf? Oh, now we're going to have some fun. Oh, you see how this guy is not running at the peak efficiency? Forgot to put a glowstone on this side. for the next part of what I'm going to show you guys. Okay, the next thing I want to do is build another alchemical chest. Uh, so let me get the materials for that real quick. Okay. A little bit of smooth stone here and some iron. these uh, dusts from earlier. Okay, now I'm going to stick the alchemical chest in this room right there. And I want all this glowstone in this chest. How am I going to do it? Build craft. Build craft pipes allow you to take items out of machines and, uh, and place them in other machines automatically. So we're going to build a bunch of good toys for this. Now, how many glowstone aggregators do I have? I believe I have nine. Three, six, nine. Yes. So I need nine wooden pipes, nine wooden uh, machine thingies. I forget what they're called. And let's get cracking on this. So first, I need nine pistons. pistons. And I'm going to need a good amount of wooden gears. I'm actually going to need eighteen wooden gears because you need two wooden gears per wooden machine thing. See if I can remember the recipe off the top of my head. Leave it something like this. And I need glass, don't I? Piston, gears, glass, and wood. There it is, redstone engine. That's what I want. I need one of those for each of the things I'm going to build. Now I need nine wooden pipes. Yeah, I definitely made more wooden pipes than I intended to there, but oh well, it's just wood. Um, just stick some of these guys in here. I'm now going to need some 
iron pipes, and I'll explain how these guys all work in just a moment. And I'm going to grab a few cobblestone pipes. Um, now, there are other types of pipes in Buildcraft besides these three. There's gold, diamond, and a couple others. I'll go into those maybe in another episode. Um, but for now, I'm just going to highlight the ones I need. Wooden pipes are used to extract items out of a machine. So you plug a wooden pipe up to, let's say, your glowstone aggregator, and you put an engine under it, and it will slowly move one item out of the machine at a time. That's wooden pipes. Iron pipes, well, let's go to cobblestone pipe. A cobblestone pipe is just a straightforward pipe. Um, items travel through it. That's it. It doesn't have anything really special about it. And iron pipes are pipes that you can use to um, force items to go through a certain direction. So let's demo this stuff now for you guys. I'm going to place a wooden pipe in front of each of my machines. And why am I putting this cobblestone in front? You'll see in a moment. It'll make it easier to place my wooden pipes. See how I'm doing that? Okay. Now I've got a wooden pipe in front of... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be using a uh, drill here. I think it's a little too powerful. Ooh, low on glowstone. Good thing I have all these glowstone aggregators, huh? Alright. pipe here is automatically connected to the chest, so that's cool. And it also just so happens that this glowstone aggregator has glowstone in it, so let's see how this stuff works. I need to go down just a little bit. And one more thing I'm going to need are some redstone torches, because um, these guys work off redstone torches. So if I place a redstone torch underneath, this is going to keep the machine above it powered constantly. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my engine. And because it has redstone power connected, the engine's running. And it should start to... Oh wait, I need a wrench. Let me knock this guy off real quick. Let me go build a wrench real quick from Beltcraft. Hang on a moment. Okay, I had to look up the recipe for this guy real quick because I didn't know him off the top of my head. I need a wooden gear. Upgrade that to a stone gear. Yes, this gets a little confusing because both Industrial Craft and Beltcraft have wrenches, but luckily they look different. Um, see this wooden pipe? How it has this little darker box on one side and the more clear on the other side with the dotted lines. The darker one is what items will be pulled from. So you can see all my other item uh, wooden things here were connected on correctly when I placed them down, but since this wooden box was between two items that could be used, it randomly picked this one. Right click with your wrench and it turns sides. Now it's going to pull out of my glowstone aggregator into the chest. This way it would be pulling out of the chest and dumping it into the glowstone aggregator, which we obviously don't want. Let's reactivate the engine, and out comes the glowstone. You can see it's being pulled out of this little guy here, and dumped into my chest. How cool is that? Now let's set up all the others. Now I have to use iron pipes here, and you'll see why in a moment. So uh, if you look at my iron pipes now, um, this guy is a good example, or this guy. See how there's a clear side to this three-pronged iron pipe? So there's three outputs on this iron pipe. When items come in, um, they can either go out the left, forward, or to the right. 
but the forward and right ones are darkened, and the left one is clear. With an iron pipe, it will always go out the clear side, so it's going to force items to go out the clear side. If this was a cobblestone pipe, you might have glowstone coming down this tube and going down this tube, and then it would go this way and try and go into the glowstone aggregator, and it would get bumped out because it wouldn't work. So uh, because we're using iron pipes, we can be assured that our items will always go the direction we want. And I've got these clear ends. And if we wanted to change this, I could right-click with my wrench. And now items coming in from the left and from here would go to the right, which wouldn't be good, obviously. So let's switch it back to the left. That's the way we want it. And we're good to go. So now I'm going to place some more of these redstone engines. your redstone engines right underneath your pipes. Now see how this redstone engine is facing this way? I want it facing up. Enter the wrench again. Right click and it will find its orientation correctly. Place a torch under it and it should start pulling items out. Here they come. So now let's place all our redstone engines. Excellent. Now we'll place. See how this. We don't actually even need this guy anymore, because this redstone torch is powering all three engines. So I'm going to go ahead and place a torch here. That'll power those guys. Torch here, and torch here. Let's watch the magic happen. Look at that. Isn't that like a beautiful sight? All this glowstone getting pumped through these pipes. So cool. And it all gets collected in my alchemical chest here. So now we've automated our glowstone production. And I could just as easily build another bunch of glowstone producers on this wall. And I probably will at some point. Um, don't want to go spend all the diamonds and stuff to make it now. Um, so these glowstone aggregators, looks like they're just wrapping up and getting emptied here. Yes. So it emptied out the surplus that built up while I was making this mechanism. One more thing I should add about um, these redstone engines. See how this guy turned green? He's going to eventually turn orange, and then he's going to flash between orange and red. What happens is um, these machines build up mechanical energy, and they start to get overheated. And the more heated they are, the faster they run. So you might be able to tell that the green guy's running a little bit faster than any of the other engines. Um, if you don't hook up your um, engines to anything, and they build up heat and heat and heat, and eventually they will explode. But we don't have to worry too much about that, because um, these guys won't explode because they are hooked up to the wooden pipes. So they will get red, and they'll flash between orange and red. But don't worry, they won't explode. I've never seen them explode. As long as they're hooked up to a pipe, they're good. Okay, you guys can probably see that these guys are orange now. They're pumping a little bit faster. But they're not going to explode, even if nothing was going through these wooden pipes. You know, if they weren't pumping anything out, um, it would be all right. So the only time these things would explode is if um, the redstone engines weren't connected to anything at all. But they're working on the pipes, so they're good. And you can see, in maybe about five minutes or so, I got almost two full stacks of uh, glowstone. Well, maybe it's been longer than that. Probably 20 minutes. But definitely uh, some nice glowstone production. So I will let you guys uh, wrap up this video. Um, this was episode 12. I'm going to go ahead and post it to YouTube for y'all. And uh, next video, I might do some more automation and build a few more industrial craft machines. So I look forward to seeing you guys then. Take it easy.